Welcome to Ellen B. Show and Tell. I have my ring on today, ladies. Okay, I have something unusual, and I bet you have never seen one of these before, and that's a mini journal album about zebras. Yep. <laughs> I love zebras. My bedroom slippers are zebras. And when I saw this kit, um, it is a download from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I'll have her link below. She has some beautiful kits. And I wanted to try making one, and I just love zebras. What can I say? Black and white, two of my favorite colors, or non-colors. So here it is, ladies. It's very thick and full, and as usual, I've got a lot of downloads from Google. And um, I have fallen, officially have fallen in love with rust. Rust never sleeps. What did you say, Anne? Rust never sleeps. Rust never sleeps? I haven't... Neil, Neil Young. Neil Young, okay. <laughs> My husband might start singing right now. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this fabulous? I love, love rust. So from now on, you're going to see rust on a lot of my minis. What I did was the rust here, and these are washers. And then on every single tab, I put a number, and I rusted those also. And you can see on the back here, I added another washer on the back. And my little tiny, look at that, isn't that cute? And my clip, and that's also rusted. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, the album itself is from uh, Tim Holtz. It's a grunge. This is the an old... Uh, grunge album that I've been saving and this was the perfect opportunity to make something special. As usual, I start off my minis with a library card and uh, as you can see this is a stamp uh, with a zebra and here we have Africa TWA ad which is no longer in existence and look this is, it's embossed, I did that, and this is from uh, Michael's. It's a brand new circus stamps. I love their circus stamps, don't you ladies? They're really fabulous. And if anyone doesn't have a Michael's nearby, um, send me a comment and I will pick one person, if you are a subscriber, and send some of Michael's um, uh, circus stamps to you, okay? Now, this over here is from Ephemera's Garden, Vintage Garden. Look at this. Isn't that, this started me off. And what she did was she added, uh, she called these buttons. So that's my second thing. That's a button. I just love these, how she mixed together the vintage and a zebra. So let's, and there's so much in the kit. Now this little album card is hers. And then I just made this little tiny because this is the kind of thing that I put in all of mine. I just put this up, and seam binding, which is a favorite. And I love what I did here. I'm allowed to love what I do, doing the numbers. I just think it adds just a little bit of mixed special. Okay, next page. And what makes her um, uh, download so nice is that it is so beautiful that you really don't have to add anything like this. This gives you room to write anything, to actually put a word up here, and you've got the lines already there for journaling. And I love the sunflowers. This over here, isn't this postcard adorable? This is from New York, the Botanical uh, Park, and I think that's in Brooklyn. Love Brooklyn. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, this is one of hers. Um, the garden seed, card seed. That's also from New York. God, love New York. Look at this from Google. Isn't that cute? That is a circus zebra, which I have never heard of. Have you? These are two of her tags, and I just added the buttons. And this over here is, which I did not cut out, um, but this is. Um, and you will see in there, she has the clock theme. This is from Emrys. Okay, let's turn it over. And here we have, again, just the beautiful pink. I just love this. It's just, it's just whimsical. It's so my style. And then I just added three old buttons up there on the top. 
not, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> and then here's where I had a lot of fun. This, which I have no idea what it says, but you've got a parrot sitting on a zebra. Cute, huh? This is page three. And I decided to put the Z cards. There are so many flashcards. I think this is the one that came in her kit, and that's what got me started. And then I decided to add this, live, be bold, have fun, dream. This is one of the new Michael stamps, one of the new circus stamps. I like those. Okay, turn over page three. And here we have the sunflower page. Again, it's perfect for title and a photo. And I love the way it looks like it's grunged up and I didn't do that. <laughs> and then on page four, oh, look at these. These are all zebra cards, flash cards. And I had plenty of zebra paper. Look at this. Isn't that cute? See this for zebra? And then here's another one. There's another one. And I think this is from Graphics Fairy. And look at that. Is that precious? All free ladies need to go on Google and download some pictures. That's page four. Now page five and six. Look at this. This is one of hers. Isn't that pretty? The crown. As I said, I just love how it's so fun and fanciful. And this is what it came with, just the plain. And it also came with this, Crown Diamonds. Yeah, I like those. And this is one that I added. Z is for zebra. Sweet, isn't that? And then look at that with the crown. Again, plenty of room. I don't know how I'm going to part with this one. My husband loves this. Okay. Now, here we go to this. There's the clock I told you about. And again, the library card that was part of the kit. I thought this was adorable. I love mail. Yeah, I love getting mail, and I think all of you agree with me. Now, these were from um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. She offers freebies once a week, and um, I, of course, have signed up for that. And um, these were freebies, so it just kind of went together. So I just downloaded them and added some buttons to that. And then over here, we have one out. I love this old postcard, isn't that? Found it on Google. This is page six. And there's a clock up here, which I chose to cover because I wanted it dimensional. And I added a button. And then we've got zebra. It came with some ATC cards. This is one of them. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Google, Google best friend, Google, and there's another one of the sunflower seed card, like that. Love how all the colors seem to go together. Oh, here we are at the end. Uh, this library card pocket did come with the kit. I added the stamp. Look at that. I've never seen that stamp. I don't know whether it's a pretend stamp or a real stamp, but regardless, here's another zebra flash card. Cute, isn't that? And that over there. And then this. I think this is a painting. I couldn't resist including this. Cute stripes on stripes. And then here's the last one. <laughs> I actually looked this up on Google. And this is French. And it says, not possible. It's from the Hundred Year War. And I haven't any idea what this means. So if anyone out there speaks French or is familiar with that, you have to leave a comment, okay? And explain what's so funny about that, um, this card. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this out over here. Now, and the last page, well, the last page left empty, and then I include it, if I can get this over here, there. Look at this, I love my rust. Just some extras, and these were all downloaded from Google, as you can see. And I download them, um, I save them in Microsoft Publisher, uh, I size them, and then I print them out. And 
even though there's cost of printing them, I still think it's worth it because you can find such fabulous cards. And I do this on cardstock, so I don't even have to line them. Look at that, I like that. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed my little video. Uh, um, I know I had fun doing this, and I will consider selling it, maybe. <laughs> And I hope you'll visit Ephemera's Vintage Garden and take advantage of some of her free uh, graphics. So take good care. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. And see you later. Bye.